Hi, my name is Dennis Bell. Um, this is for POS 367, um, and I will be answering um, Miranda's question um, on, and her question was, is inequality a fact of nature? If yes, why do human beings fight for equality? So first off, she, um, the reference was to um, the dominance, like in hierarchy among um, animals and, and apes um, and other um, recent human like primate distant relatives um and i would say that inequality definitely is a fact of nature um a lot of the evidence we've seen throughout this first couple of chapters kind of shows that um i think that no matter what you do if there is a surplus in goods um there will be inequality um and i think that's natural um and so I think that that's the answer to her first question, but that I also believe that that um, doesn't mean that human beings inev or like inevitably should not fight for um, more equality um, instead of just letting inequality run rampant. I think a m minimum level of inequality is a fact of nature. Um, extreme or high levels of in inequality, I think are not. Um, I think those are very much part of like human nature in terms of like human creation and I believe that because of how things build up in terms of goods and how property rights and how more wealthy individuals can pass things on to their children without ha for uh, especially in today's society without many taxes or anything else um that then inequality builds and builds and we see levels of inequality that are just not natural for humans um and that eventually will need to be reset to some degree um either by political measures or as the book talks about again and again by violent measures um now i would never um say that we should do anything violent or people should be violent but at the same time i think that if levels stay high there will eventually be those types of events we just went through a pandemic that the book references as well um but again if there's no way to stop inequality from being transferred genera generationally um we are definitely gonna see it continue to grow and grow um to levels where very few individuals have so much that and other individuals are being not just barely surviving but some not surviving and i think that's the point at which you do see violent measures historically um and that's something that should be addressed before that becomes a fact of life even if it's something we're not used to in today's day and age um but so yeah just to answer her questions i i think inequality is definitely a fact of nature um to a certain degree but that humans beings fight for more equality to ensure that people can still survive and that that inequality level doesn't go to a point where it's just not livable for enough people in the world. Um, and I think that's the difference. And I think that's just, I think there will always be inequality, but I don't think that the level that we experience today or levels we've experienced throughout history of very high inequality are a fact of nature and will always be that way. Um, but I, I do believe that if we never do anything about it or affect um, the ability of richer people to transfer wealth without any um, measures to, to more even that out, then, then this high level of inequality is definitely going to be a part of life until violent measures um, bring it back to a more um, equal level for all of humans. All right, thank you.